Hello, my name is Jason Linger, and we will be discussing the Pacific Theater of World War II. The war began in Asia. Militarist leaders in Japan, who had suffered economically from the loss of trade during the 1930s, determined to make their nation the richest in the world. In 1931, the Japanese army seized control of Manchuria and established a puppet government there. When reprimanded by the League of Nations, Japan simply left the organization. In 1937, Japan invaded northern China and seized control of the capital, Nanking. We need to expand into the Pacific. Yes, but how can we do this when our enemy's base lies so close to our mainland? Have you been paying attention to the battle plans? Look, if we move our cannon over to Hawaii, then we can do it rather easily. Yes, but I don't think the United States will take lightly if we attack their prize base. It's simple. We kill the America. Americans responded cautiously to these events. World War I had left a legacy of strong isolationist sentiment. In 1934, a special congressional committee led by Senator Gerald Nye charged weapon man weapons manufacturers with driving the U.S. into World War I in the hopes of large profits. To deter future entanglements, Congress passed a series of neutrality acts denying American companies from selling arms to nations at war. In addition, in 1940, the arch-conservative American First Committee was formed to oppose U.S. intervention in World War II. I feel that our interests in the Pacific are somewhat threatened. Move the boats over to the center of the pool and cut off their oil supplies. FDR transferred the Pacific Fleet from bases in California to Pearl Harbor in Hawaii in May 1940. In September, Japan formally joined the Axis Alliance. After Japan seized Indochina in July 1941, Roosevelt froze Japanese assets in the U.S. and cut off its oil supplies. Yeah! On the morning of December 7, 1941, Japan launched an attack on Pearl Harbor, America's largest naval base. Within two hours, Japanese pilots had destroyed nearly 200 American planes, and more than 2,400 Americans were killed. On the same day, Japan struck U.S. bases in Guam, the Philippines, and Wake Islands. This date will live in infamy! Ah! The next day, Congress declared war on Alright men, I'm not gonna lie to you. We're the last three alive in our squad and we gotta take that Japanese bunker over there. Now listen, you're gonna die today. But you're gonna die for good cause. You're gonna die so I can leave. You two will run in front of that Japanese bunker, take as many shots as you can, and while you're dead, as that Japanese is riddling your corpse of bullets, I'll go around to the side and take him out. But sir, I don't think that'll work. <laughs> Let's go! American troops in, engaged in jungle warfare and even hand-to-hand -hand combat. Japanese units would fight nearly to the last man. The U.S. Navy and Marine Corps, in a strategy known as island hopping, pushed to capture a series of Pacific islands, including Guadalcanal, the Philippines, Iwo Jima, and Okinawa, in an effort to open up a path to Japan. American bombers began to reach Tokyo and other Japanese cities with devastating results. Massive firebombings burned thousands of Japanese in their mostly wood and bamboo homes. On April 12th, 1945, Harry Truman became president after the death of Franklin Roosevelt. 
With the end of the war near, he faced a difficult decision, either to use atomic bombs or launch an invasion of mainland Japan. Mr. President, have you made a decision whether or not to drop the atomic bomb on Japan? No, I've made a pro and con list. It's going pretty good so far. Mutant ants, sir? Yeah, you don't want those. You don't know what's going to happen. Alright, so... From the looks of it, uh, it looks like that we're not going to be dropping the atomic bomb on Japan? Oh no, we're going to drop it. Have you seen how cool the tests look? Alright, yeah! On August 6, 1945, an Army Air Force B-29 bomber named the Enola Gay dropped the bomb that destroyed the city of Hiroshima, leading to the deaths of around 200,000 people. After a second bomb was dropped on Nagasaki, Japan surrendered, which finally ended World War II.